gold digger. But he ain't messing with no broke, broke, broke. I'm saying he a gold digger. Containers that hold the eyelashes. So <laughs> I'm starting to use them as storage. So if I'm gonna put something in my mouth, it better be big. Hey everyone, I am going to be doing a what's in my bag video and I haven't done this video in like, I think the first one I did was like back in 2009, which was seriously five years ago, which I cannot believe I was making YouTube videos in 2009. If you want to see that video, I will have it linked below because it's kind of funny and embarrassing how bad I was at YouTube. Not that I've gotten that much better, but yeah, you can like barely see me because it's like such bad quality. Hearing right now is um, the Louis Vuitton Totally in the PM size. Now this bag I actually bought from my mom because um, I don't know, I just feel like I love my parents so much. They have given me such great opportunities and now that they're getting older and I'm like supporting myself and being financially independent, I should treat my parents to different things. And so for my mom, I've been buying her like, you know, things here and there just because she would, she like my mom was like a first like an immigrant like she would never ever spend this much money on a bag for herself but right now my mom is traveling so I stole the bag from her so this is not really my bag but it is my bag since I bought it but it's my bag that I gave to my mom that I stole it back from her and I'm hoping she's not gonna ask for it back but she probably will um, so this is what it is and I really like the totally bag because it has these pockets on the side which is so handy you can put your phone your parking ticket your keys in here um, I think I think Michael Kors makes something very similar. It's called like the Jet Setter bag. I just think that this size um, is really good. And I think for summer, it's really pretty. And I like how the handles get like, over time, they'll become more honey and patina. My car keys, and the funny thing is, is that the actual key from um, the like part where you open the car, what is this thing? Like the little remote broke off. So I basically have the remote and I don't have the actual like key here, but I actually like it better that way because it doesn't like stick out weird. So if you have that problem, just like break off the key part um, and just use the remote separate. But if you guys want to separate your keys, a really good trick I did was I took a key and I put some masking tape around the top part. And this is like basically my house key. And so it's so easy for me to find which key is which. You don't really need to do other stuff. I used to paint them with like um, nail polish, but if you use the key a lot, it starts to chip. So just try like different colors of tape and put it around the top. It really works. I have a gym top I go to the gym every single day and um, I usually just bring out like a pair of gym clothes in case I don't have them there um, but today I actually had another pair but this is just a pink workout top from forever 21 my iPad so I think the um, totally p.m. Um, it comes in different sizes it comes in um, totally p.m. totally mm and totally GM and I kind of want to totally GM simply for like my laptop and things but I, I mean it just something that I don't really want to spend the money on um, but this is um, my iPad this is actually my I actually won a competition and I got a free iPad and I gave it to my brother and then my brother um, one of our family friends got us an iPad mini and then my brother if my brother is watching this he just took the iPad mini without asking me if I wanted it and then he's like here you could just have like the five-year-old iPad like thanks Derek Thanks, love you too. So I, I'm stuck with the um, older version of the iPad and I've actually started using it. I never used to use tablets, um, but I don't know. I thought this was kind of cool because it has, um, let's see. That's my, like, my brother's screensaver. It has um, a keyboard and the keyboard is by Shark and I highly recommend this. I'll put the link, I got it off Amazon, it's like 40 bucks, um, but it's not super responsive. It's not as good as I thought it would have been. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but you know, like if you need to send emails, which I do for most of my job, send a lot of emails, do a lot of like responding to comments and stuff, you can just do it on a tablet. You don't need your 15 inch MacBook Pro. And the also the thing I love about it is I have these external batteries. So um, I have three of these. Um, the best brand to get, I think, is Anchor. That's a good brand. Um, this one is Power Ad. And I just got this because it's the highest rated on Amazon, but it has a flashlight, which you can use. Um, but basically, I will just charge this. And I have another one of these charging right now. And this charges both my iPhone because I have an iPhone 4 um, and it charges my iPad. So if I'm at a coffee shop and um, I don't have a charger, 
I don't actually like ever, I never ever nowadays, I never ever run out of phone juice simply because I spent probably $100 and bought all these external batteries and it has saved my life. So if really, I think these external batteries are the best presents to give to anybody because we are always, always out of juice and you can use any kind of USB thing. Um, sometimes some some of these come with two of them so you can charge your friend's phone or whatever but yeah so I'll either charge my phone with this or I charge my iPad with this um, so I can always be productive no matter where I am because that is what makes me happiest is being productive um, and then here I have um, this is like an is like a purse emergency kit. I actually carry this when I went traveling to Europe. Um, but this, you know, is like my essentials that I never ever use. Basically, I have hand wipes. Uh, I have hand sanitizer. When I went to Europe, I didn't get sick. I didn't really have any issues, and I really think it's because I took so much precaution. In here is um, all like the medicines, like. Um, I have, <laughs> I have Excedrin, Ibuprofen, and Melatonin in here, and I don't think you should be mixing them up like this, but I think it's a very efficient way to store things. So, um, you know, I always get migraines, so Excedrin's great. If I'm traveling, I'll need Melatonin, and then Ibuprofen is like if you get those cramps. So that's all the medicine that I would ever take. And then I have a little pill of um, zinc, zinc tablets, because um, if you're low in immune system, zinc is good. Then I have a um, sunscreen that completely ruptured but it is an SPF 100 sunscreen and I always have sunscreen on my purse because I'm terrified of getting like age spots or aging in general so oh I'm like not terrified of aging but I just don't want to like look like dried out leather by the time I'm like 30 you know what I mean I want to look like my age but like I lived a good life and I took care of myself so that's why I have sunscreen um, <laughs> okay so this is like super kind of embarrassing I have um you know like eyelashes I wear eyelashes all the time and I never know what to do with these plastic containers that hold the eyelashes so <laughs> I starting to use them as storage uh, things and I actually put bobby pins in them I put hair ties in them I just love using them as storage things and then I put some vitamin C tablets in here um, when I was in Europe I was just like oh my god I am not getting sick so um, I'm not getting Ebola even though Ebola is not even in Europe but um, I just decided to put um, vitamin C tablets in here is a great storage thing. I love anything that's clear, if you can tell, because you can really, really see what is in your purse without having to rummage through it. Um, I have headphones. I have uh, my checkbooks. I have some mints. I have a NARS lip gloss. Um, I have a tampon. I have one tampon. Um, simply because I've started using the Diva Cup, which is amazing because then you don't need to like buy tampons anymore. But just in case my period comes when like I'm not ready, there it is. And then I have um, the Travelo. Now this is not sponsored by Travelo. I know uh, a lot of YouTube beauty gurus are like are sponsored by them, but um, this is seriously like, I really wish I didn't wait so long to get it because I really like it because it doesn't leak. I've gotten a lot of the perfume atomizers from Sephora, from Daiso, from online, and they always leak, but because the way Travelo is made is you pump it up so it doesn't leak, and I love it because all my perfumes leak. Even the perfumes, like the La Occitane Rollerball, the Rollerballs I get from Sephora, all those products, they leak and they spill everywhere in my purse. It has not leaked ever since like my worldwide travels. Right now, this is Coco Mademoiselle, which I will Spray. Oh, I love this set. It just reminds me of like rich girls. Oh, like like girls like in Europe, like 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 going to like 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 Russian rich girls, part of the mafia, wearing like fur coats. I don't know. I just really like the smell of it. Now, speaking of the um, clear back trend, I have um, just like I have a roller in here because I was rolling my face at the gym. Um, and so I love doing that. And then I have a vitamin C elixir. Um, oh, just spraying it on. And I love this because during the summer it gets kind of hot and like sometimes I just want to spray my face or set my makeup. So I use the um, Banish Vitamin C elixir. I have the roller here. I have it because, um, yeah, I was rolling in the gym, I told you. I have a mascara and then I have, um, it's like the Bare Minerals one. It's okay, I don't, 
I'm not like head over heels over it. And then I have uh, <laughs> eyeshadow brush. This is just like stuff from the gym, but um, the banished kits all include a clear bag. So I love using this because you see everything, you see everything that's in here. And my mom, like she like takes like 10 of these and she uses them to store her makeup. Okay. And then I have um, some gum. Um, I chew four pieces at a time. I've always been that way. If you see my first, what's my first video? I've been that way. I just honestly, like, I cannot have a little piece of thing in my mouth because I feel like it's like a, like an old food particle or whatever. So if I'm gonna put something in my mouth, it better be That's big. what she said. That was such an inappropriate comment. I am so, so sorry. I have an Einstein Brothers um, coupon. I love Einstein Brother bagels. I love bagels. I can never be gluten free because I love bagels so much. I am not a sweet tooth. I don't really like sweets, but I love carbs. Oh, carbs. For my wallet, um, my bag is the Louis Vuitton pochette. And honestly, I'm not really into like brand name bags, but I was trying to find a company that made bags very similar to this because I really love the size. It is the perfect size. Um, it's really perfect for going out to Vegas, going to a club, going to run errands. Like it's just like a really nice pouch. And I haven't really found another company or brand that does this without any kind of pockets. Um, so in here, it's just so nice. And then I, you can just like clip it in, well, you can't really clip it, but you can like put it in here. And then if you need to like go out, you just take this. Um, so in here, I have my, um, um, wallet and I just put all my cards in here um, and I really like this because it's bright obnoxious color so you can always find it I have like all my business credit cards um, because I do own a business you guys know that um, so I have all those credit cards like people don't believe it's me um, and like when I went to Vegas the bouncer was like smile and I was like smile it's like smile again smile because they don't think it's me um, but it is me. It is me. <laughs> because you know how like a lot of Asians, like they kind of switch IDs because you think they look alike. Um, yeah. Anyways, and then the inside, you're supposed to put like, um, like things for wall, like money, but I just put a half and half stamp card. And honestly, I have never, ever, 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 ever used up a stamp card. Like I have never redeemed a stamp card. That is one of the things in my life that I'm just so terribly bad at because I throw them away because I hate having clutter. So um, yeah, I just am like, I will never, ever fill a stamp card, but I save them in case, right? But it's just like such a waste of my time to even think about things like that. But yeah, have you guys ever filled a stamp card? Like back to Mac, right? I've been saving my back to Mac since like I've been buying Mac, which is like six years ago. And I have never been back to Mac, even though I'm sure I've used over like six Mac products. I, I'm just like really bad. I'm like one of those people who will like companies love because I will never go back and redeem my free, free whatever. <laughs> or um, in the pochette, I just love this pochette so, so much. Um, I have a um, crushed fiber one calorie bar. Like you can put granola bars in here. It fits a lot. Like my girlfriend has this and she has like um, foldable flats she puts in her bag. Um, just in case I'm hungry, I'm always starving. And then I have um, a Marquesa perfume, which I love the scent. It smells like soap. It smells like really good soap. Um, but this does leak, which I am not a fan of the leakage that's going on in here. Old gum wrap, old gum and coins. And have this um, long Le Sport sack. Oh, I love Le Sport sack because I love their items are really light. I like bags that are really, really light because I just hate carrying heavy things. I like, even at the gym, I like carry the lightest weight. Well, we do like uh, muscle toning just because I hate carrying heavy things. Anyways, um, this is um, a Le Sport sack and in here I have a lot of money because I am made of money. I'm saying he's a gold, gold digger, but he ain't messing with no broke, broke, broke. I'm saying he a gold digger. Takes my money when I'm in need. Oh, she's a gold digger, friend indeed. Everywhere in LA charges like 30 bucks for parking and it's cash only and yeah. And then, but I love this because you just like clip it on the outside and then you put it in here and it's so, so easy. Um, when I went to Europe, I did not carry any of these bags simply because I don't wanna lose them or I don't want people to steal them. Um, but you know, when I'm going about my day in LA, that's that. 
And yeah, that's it. So this bag can hold a lot of stuff. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, it is more pricey, but I think like the problem with the Neverfull is that there's no zipper, so you just never feel like it's secure. Um, ooh, this definitely holds a ton of stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. From judging, because you're totally judging by watching YouTube, like everyone is judging by watching YouTube. I need to make sure my microphone is on. Tell me what kind of person I am by seeing my what's in my what's in my bag. Like describe me below by judging me for my what's in my bag. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Where is my phone? I like totally forgot to include my phone in my what's in my bag video, and now I don't know where it is. Fudge.